Saturday morning here in Texas. I'm in my pajamas and today we're gonna bring on two guests. One I've known for about 27 years, the other I've known him for about 11. So without further ado, let's bring him in. So without further ado, here they are. Please bring our uh, hands together for my nephew Caleb and my sister Cindy. Welcome, welcome everyone <laughs> to terrible lighting at my theater room. <laughs> uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and go down the line. As you guys can see, we do have quite quite a bit of stuff, and this isn't everything because we do have duplicates, some things that I bought that both me and my sister bought. So I didn't. There was no really real reason to bring the duplicates but we do have a table full of stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring you guys in a little bit closer. We'll kind of just take turns, pick an item, and let you guys see what you can get at, um, what is it actually called? The Making of Harry Potter at Warner Brothers Studio Tour in London. Uh, really quickly, you guys can just see the, well, there's my ticket. This is the ticket that you get here. You do pay, we did pay a little bit extra to get these shipped to us um, right away. Like I think $6. that was worth it. And also, I mean, if you would have decided to pick them up at the actual place, there was a long line yes. for you to like, you know, pick up to your pick tickets. Up the tickets. Or, you know, things like that. So, yeah, so just... tip number one get your physical tickets ahead of time. That way you can just go straight into the line to get in because there the, is a line. There is a very long line. Um, okay, so I guess I'm gonna start out with the hardest one to get to. Trevor's a tournament egg. Um, so it's like the Noble Collection um, pendant that you get. And, you know, it it's. For the price, it's actually not so bad. The chain, I think I would change it later on. The cool thing I've always been obsessed with is just the little details and then it opens up. It does come with a little wooden box, um, shadow box, and so you get to drop it in and you get to see it in all angles with the little mirror. I think it was like what, 45 pounds? Somewhere around there? So. I think yeah. this was the most expensive item that I got. Mm -hmm. So I still don't feel like opening it, but it's really, really cute. Uh, here's the back images of how it kind of opens. I think it's really, really fancy, so I need to work on my penmanship for this, but I love this item. So And this is what I it's got. Your favorite? In, yeah, because I like a lot of stuffed animals, and I liked Buckbeak a lot. I think this was about 25 pounds, and I think it's worth it. If you're a Hufflepuff, we all know how much we gripe um, with Noble Collection because their Hufflepuff pen is green and gold for some reason. I'm like, we're not Slytherin, we're not some other weird house. I don't remember how much this was. <laughs> it wasn't hugely expensive. I think maybe like, what, 15 pounds? Maybe, somewhere around there? I think so. I don't, I don't know. but. I it mean, looks cool. It, Have you, you know, used it? I use it. It's not great. It's not a great pen, but it's the nice color. To look at. The color, it's just, yeah, much better. Uh, for me, I think the next one, okay, I'm gonna go with this one. This one's really cool. So, this is one of the items that both me and my sister bought. So, this is um, barely anything's on the shelves, and this was one of the items that there was only one left and we're like no we both really want this can you please find another one and again the staff was incredible and they managed to find a few a few more uh, so this is just like a chocolate frog out of ceramic very very high quality this was 20 pounds again that crazy expensive yeah. this is one of my favorites probably because it's puff and puff and puff and when you need to drink water Water or whatever. And that bed, or... it says Hufflepuff right here. And right here. And right here. Um, 
but yeah, you can take it to school. And um, the, when you put water, it stays cold for a long time. So these are actually we tried. I tried these at um, Wizarding World in, in Orlando. By far, my favorite. One of my favorites. There's two, but these are ugh, exploding bonbons. They're so good. Um, they're eight pounds. So one of my favorite things that we did over there at the studio tour is these like, uh, not 3D, like animation videos, green, that, screen. green screen videos, which actually you can do something very similar that we did in Orlando. So this is kind of a collector's item, this tin, otherwise you do just get the regular USB in a plastic bag. Uh, we did pay an extra three to five pounds, I think, five. I think it was five, five pounds for this canister because it, it makes it look like a film reel. <laughs> but it's nice and nestled in there. For I'll try to put little snippets on this video. I'll try to figure out a way, but this is really cool. Obviously, this is also one of the most ex expensive things that you do uh, because especially for, you know, if you have more than just one person you have to pay for, it, it gets pricey, but it's a fun keepsake. It's really cool. I think it's worth it for the first time. I don't think it's worth it doing it over and over again. Yeah, it's a one-time experience. One-time experience, well worth it though. Next is my wand. It's by Nukes Commander, Puff a Puff. So open it up. Look at it's all fancy. Where is this one? So this is the wand. And I um this the reason I liked it is because of this blue part. See see it? It's all right there, and the hole, that's what I liked. And it's nice. It's light, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Light, pretty, not that long. And it's a good length. Yeah, so that's why I liked it. Okay, so going with wands. Um, so I'm not a huge fan of the Makusa side of things, but Serafina's wand is beautiful. And if I can ever get this box open, maybe you guys get to see it so first of all the box itself is pretty cool it's i mean beautiful yeah it's and there weren't many available and then her wand is just so beautiful i'm not a huge fan of pink but for this case i don't mind it so i don't know if you could i don't know if i'm doing this right but <laughs> um you can see the little details and it's just it's a nice weight it's light Lighter than the other ones that I've gotten from Wizarding World in Orlando. I think I want to say 32 pounds. 32 pounds, give or take. 3250 or something yeah. weird like that. Okay. Um, ooh, so these these are actually fun. Also going along with the wands, you obviously need your wand permit. So these are like um, really detailed, fillable application for wand permits by the Makusa. Uh, this is actually a clearance item in one of the shops throughout the tour. There's like mini shops. So in the first stop we bought, I think we bought a water or something. Yeah, Caleb was really just... thirsty. First of all, we were all really sick. Oh my god. <laughs> don't don't anyways, even get us started with that. Ugh. But right. anyways, this was the last thing. It was clearance. The main bag, the pouch in this was kind of already ripped. So I asked if there were any more. This was, this was it. This was the last one. So it, for clearance item, I want to say I spent less than 12, 12.50 pounds. Less, yeah. um, but it's really cool. It came with all four. Everything is in really good, good condition. I'll open one up just so you guys can see how detailed these applications are. So this is how long they are. You get that, and then you open it up, and you uh, can just start filling out your wand permit application and sending it in. So I think it's really cute. It comes with four. And it's just fun, a nice little piece of memorabilia. Mm -hmm. And I love paper items, so I was really excited to get this. I did not get this, my mom did, I think. Right, yeah. you got this? Mm -hmm. I, I've been obsessing over it, like online. And gold brick. Yeah, gold brick. Because I can't um, get real gold. And some, yeah, how much was it? 15 pounds, not bad. And it's pretty heavy. Mm -hmm. I like this part. The, the detail? Yeah, the detail. This one's from Green God's Bank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so it's, yeah, pretty nice. Mm -hmm. And she I think it's worth it. Yeah, she hasn't opened it yet just because of things, but um, I think it's gonna be good, good quality. It's a good paperweight. Do you wanna open it? You can open it. I can wrap it up later. I can open it. I'll open it. Do it. Since you're the presenter. 
Okay, I can help. <laughs> okay, get first look on the gold brick plastic unboxing. Ooh. So you guys can see the, the detail of the Gringotts uh, logo here. What is this? Makusa writing set. Um, so, yeah, it's a cute little package. Open it. It's a long, 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 long little sheet where you get to write your letter. Going back to journals because I'm obsessed with them. This is my sister's and this is, well, this is also hers, but we both got this one. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at the detail of this. <sighs> she was obsessed with this with this one. You do get a couple other options. There's a lot of options, and yeah. I wanted to spend all my money on all the journals. On all of them. I'm just gonna open it a little bit, but like, look at that. Oh, beautiful. These were, and they weren't like crazy expensive. No. Um, crap, how much were they? I don't know, but 15, look at new. 20? Yeah, I think so. I think it was like They were all 20. reasonably priced. But I mean, look at just how beautiful this, this one's my absolute favorite. So yeah, notebooks. I, I love them. I want them all. So, so these are one of my yeah. favorite. <laughs> if favorite we ever need to give you a gift. Yes, if you ever want to send me a gift. Journals. <laughs> Find me cool journals. Um, next. Chocolate Yeah. Chocolate mm -hmm. Are these the spicy ones? No. No. Well, I think these are good. I've not tried them before. It has kind of like a fruit um, infused in it and it pops a little bit. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like the exploding bonbons. Oh, eight pounds. Yeah. But it's a good amount. Those are, yeah, that's a big one. And then going with candy, we got this chocolate frog. This big one was, crap, how much was this? I think also maybe 10, 11 pounds. A little bit more because of the tin. Maybe. So you guys, it's pretty detailed. It's a very good uh, mold to it. You can tell that it's a toad. And then you get, Obviously, your trading cards because you need to make a collection. Although I hate that almost every single one that I've gotten, especially from Orlando, why? Why do we want multiple of this guy? But it's... we love <laughs> Salazar Slytherin. But you get Dumbledore. Who's this? Gryffindor. You get all the houses, the ones who. Hydra. Hydra. <laughs> <laughs> um, Helga. Helga Hufflepuff. Yeah, the ones that discovered and made the houses. So that's really cool that you get that. 15 pounds, well, 16, 16 pounds. Um, Only because it came with a collector's tin. So instead yeah. of that paper one that de cardboard you know, degrades after a while, um, you get this cool tin, you get to use it after. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, and then, oh, oh, those are pins. oh my pins. Mm -hmm. Okay. The sad thing is that these things, I put them on my back, like this first one I put on my backpack and this thing, I lost it. I mean, this thing doesn't really hold the pin that well, um, but still, I love them. These are some of the pins. And I got this cool, what is it, metal plate. And then just uh, lastly, I'm gonna show you guys, you can also, along with the videos that you can do, you can also take really cool pictures. So, um, the first one up is my sister. Do you want to show them? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So this is really cool. If so, you get robes depending on the house that you get. If there aren't super busy, I mean, typically, yeah, you can say what house you are in, and they'll give you a robe accordingly if you're not already dressed. But these are really cute. It comes with a really cute um, little pamphlet thing, mm -hmm. and you can also download your image. So that's the first one. I just have been done that a bit for a while. Hopefully, I think it's and then this is another one. This is really cute. Which one is that? Yours. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> this is Caleb's. Mm. This is yours. Oh, where's yours? I don't know. Did you pack it away? No. But mine are somewhere. But essentially, it's the same ones. We picked the same background and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, this is also. One that I would do like on your first time, maybe not one that you would do like multiple times. Unless if they have different backgrounds. Yeah. Because we could go during Christmas and that's what was like the snow the back and so yeah. forth. And I gotta say, just 
a weird obsession. Their wrapping paper is so freaking awesome. Very, they very don't skip detailed. On the details. They don't. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're paying a little extra, but look at that. I mean, you do end up paying extra for bags. So if you have a lot, um, they'll ask you, do you want this in the bag? And they're not asking you as like a, it's a, like uh, customer service type thing. No, it's, it's because they will charge you for the bag. Yeah. So it was at this shop actually that we noticed that we're actually paying extra for each bag. Not like this bag. No, but, the, but actual you know, shopping the bags. The one that has the Harry Potter you know, yeah. logo. So uh, I had thankfully only bought the, I think I only bought this candy or something like that. I had only bought one item and he asked, oh, do you want a bag? And I go, no, because by at that point we already had big bags for these. Um, and so thankfully I didn't, but my sister did. And then after the fact, didn't you think it was like a little bit off? Yeah, the like calculations like, were a little bit off. I thought this was, you know, discounted or, yeah. you know. And that the receipt, yeah, sure enough, you, you do get charged for a bag. So just a quick tip on that. Um, yeah. Use one bag for everything. Use one bag for everything. Can. Bring extras or whatever, but yeah, just beware, you will be charged. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now enough rambling and showing off the really cool items that we got. We really love them. We're gonna do a challenge. Yes. Like a we're gonna do a tasting test. With um, this. Are we doing it with these? Yeah. I, or, so. I thought you opened one. No? Is it that one? Oh, okay. We're gonna try. We're each gonna try one really disgusting jelly bean, and then followed by a good. I think we we picked the other. What the other is gonna have to taste. Yep. So you have earwax. Earwax. I have rotten egg. Oh, which I'm like really dreading. So, she has vomit. Oh my god! As soon as I smell it, I start throwing up. And then, so you do get these um, inside to show you, to tell you guys what jelly beans you have. Um. So yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and pick our bad one and our good one. And oh yeah, we'll yeah, that's it. right. So we have vomit, run egg, and earwax. Wish us luck. Hopefully see you guys on the other side. One, two, two three. Wait, get down, get down. One, Ready? Two, two, three. Mm. <laughs> it's actually not that one. No, 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 no. Water, water. Water, get water. Remember? <laughs> Rotten egg actually wasn't that bad. I hate you. <laughs> open it, open it. It's open it, open it. <laughs> Did yours actually taste like vomit? <laughs> You're just gonna vomit. <laughs> Are you sure? I can't even. <laughs> well, I'm gonna try candy floss next. I'm gonna try and wash my little nuts. Mm. This is really good. What one can I just? Give me mine. Candy floss. Ooh. Candy floss, 10 out of 10. Mmm. I feel my watermelon. Earwax is, I give it a 7 out of 10. The earwax? You liked it? Actually, you know what? I give rotten eggs 7 out of 10. A 6. 6 out of 10. Uh, 7. Yeah. Okay. Zero. <laughs> Oh but God. in the I'm closeness of how vomit, I think, tastes, Imagine, you know? Oh, I don't like marshmallow. No? What would you give that? Like a five? Mm. Oh, it's 10 out of 10 on like closeness oh, of like grossness. Yeah. Wow. wow. Um, I'm like, I have tears. <laughs> <laughs> but the watermelon, again, 10 out of 10. It tastes just like if you were, you know, taking a bite out of watermelon. Well, so in the spirit of everyone throwing up, uh, we're gonna end it here. So like this video if you liked it. Comment down below if you guys have any questions or want to see us try other flavors. <laughs> Maybe. Um, and subscribe if you haven't already. We wanted to put out a fun video given that we're stuck at home, um, but thankfully we're at least stuck in it together. So uh, maybe we'll do some more videos in the future. Stay safe and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>